Laurel Birch was an American artist, designer, and businesswoman. As a self-taught artist, meaning she learned how to paint and draw by herself, she started a business in her home, selling her paintings and jewelry. Eventually, her work became more and more popular. Now her designs, especially her cat paintings, are famous for the bright colors, busy patterns, and cheerful feelings people experience when looking at them. You will create your own Laurel Birch inspired cats. For this project, you'll need a black and white piece of paper, a marker, scissors, glue stick, and whatever you have to color. I'll show you how to draw two types of cats. For the first, with your paper in portrait style, draw a dot in the middle. We're gonna use that dot, and from there, we're gonna draw two curved lines that go up on either side of that dot. That's for the main part of the face. Now add two angled lines like triangles up top for the ears and connect for the top of the head. To make the nose of our cat, we're drawing two more straight lines and then go up on either side. I'm just making sure they're even. Now for the eyes, I'm going to draw two curved lines that connect the nose, the bridge of my nose, with the outside of the face. Finish them off by drawing a matching curved line below. Add circles for the inside of the eyes. Now we just need whiskers. and the mouth. For the body, draw one side straight down and the other, you'll curve it. This is as if the cat was sitting on his or her haunches, right? Like if he's at the window and he's watching you. I feel like cats are always doing that for me. I don't know why. Okay, I'm adding two more lines for the front of his legs and now, I'm going to close off with a curved line at the bottom and add a tail so that it looks like it's coming in front of its body. When you have the outline of your cat, the next step is to add designs all around. So I have examples for you here that you can use or you can do something entirely different. It's up to you. When you've designed your cat and you have a bunch of details, start coloring. I'm going to show you this part very quickly and it's going to jump a little bit, but you can pause and take as much time as you need to color your cat in completely.
Here's the first way all finished for you to draw your laurel birch cat. Let me show you the second way now. For this one, your paper should be in the landscape orientation. Start by drawing the face the same way we drew it the first time, but I'm making it a little bit smaller and off to the side of my paper. For this one, the body is completely visible and it's going to look like the cat is walking or jumping. Start with a flat back and then curve the line for the tail coming up and around the cat. Now I'll just add the legs and the stomach to connect. From here, it's just like the first cat. Start with designs along the body, and then when you're ready, start coloring. You can pause this part of the video if you want to keep looking at it, or you can fast forward however you want. All right, here are my two completed cats. You may have one, however you do it. All right, with your cat, cut them out and you're gonna glue them to the black paper so that you have a nice background and your cat will really pop. 